so hello guys welcome back to the channel we are in the part 3 of this module that is connect data cloud to agent force and cloud builder so first of all click on it now basically if you haven't watched the previous video make sure to watch it i've shared the video link in the description basically the complete playlist in the description let me show you to navigate here and click on this playlist currently some of the videos are not available but it will be available soon so now click on launch now here basically we have to add data to chrome builder so these are the steps which we have to complete so first of all copy this from here click on this settings icon click on the setup now wait for this page to load now basically on the quick find you have to just paste it now here we don't have to use this particular tab first of all open the prompt window it will open now what we have to do we have to copy the name basically we have to select sales email as prompt builder type basically so just copy it here come back over here now we don't we have to use the prompt builder page not this page okay so we need to go to the second tab where we have opened the prompt builder let me show you click on it now here if you try to search the prompt you won't get instantly here because we have to create it so it's not there as you can see now here on the top you can see new prompt template click on it now here click on sales email now for the api name and template name copy the name from here and just paste it now paste the api name like this now here if you want you can paste the description also i will recommend paste the description because it is interconnected now related object will be guest let me show you which guest event yes this one now what you have to do you have to just click on next just click on next and now come back here and from the top till here till here copy select the text and copy it and click over here and just paste it now after that you have to click on save and once the file is saved you have to just activate it now sometimes what happens you get error that the file is unable to save and in that case reload the browser and just try again now that's how we have completed this part and let's verify your points for other remaining tasks and courses you can check the description and playlist too now the main thing is that all labs are interconnected you have to go one two three unlike the quick labs lab if you have participated in google cloud here each lab is connected you have to start from step one then only you will be able to reach it so that's how we completed this batch do like the video and subscribe the channel for other queries sorry other challenges too